In this video, I am going to solve the model question paper for the year 2021 to 2022, which is issued by Karnataka Secondary Education Examination Board. In this video, let me solve uh, third main, which contains two marks question. There are eight question, totally 16 marks question. Seventeenth question is solve the pair of linear equations by elimination method. The equations are 2x plus y is equal to 3, 4x minus y is equal to 9. So, the given equations are here uh, 2x plus y is equal to 3, 4x minus y is equal to 9. Let this be the equation number 1 and uh, this be the equation number 2. We have to solve it by elimination method. Of observe plus y and minus y in uh, equation 1 and 2 when they are added they can readily get cancelled so we have to add the equation 1 and 2 y and y get cancelled 2x plus 4x is equal to 6x 3 plus 9 is 12 6x is equal to 12 x is equal to 12 by 6 that is equal to 2 so x is equal to 2 we have to substitute the value of x is equal to 2 in the equation 1. Equation 1 is 2x plus y is equal to 3. Instead of x, we have to put 2. 2 into 2, 4 plus y is equal to 3. Here, y is equal to 3 minus 4. Transpose 4 to the right hand side. Then positive sign changes negative. 3 minus 4 that is equal to minus 1. So, x is equal to 2 and y is equal to minus 1. There is internal choice question here. Show that the lines represented by the linear equations 2x plus 3y is equal to 1, 5x plus 6y is equal to 2 are intersecting lines by comparing their coefficients. Here the given equations are 2x plus 3y is equal to 1 and 5x plus 6y is equal to 2. We have to write it in the standard form. 2x plus 3y minus 1 is equal to 0. 5x plus 6y minus 2 is equal to 0. Here a1 is 2, a2 is 5, b1 is 3, b2 is 6. We can observe that a1 by a2 is uh, 2 by 5 and b1 by b2 is 3 by 6 that is half. So we can say that a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2. So the lines are intersecting yeah, and it has unique solution. The next question means 18th question. Find the 15th term of the arithmetic progression 6 10 14 dash dash using formula here the first term a is 6 common difference d is 10 minus 6 that is 4 we have to find uh, the sum of uh, <coughs> not uh, sum 15th term so n is 15 the formula for the nth term of the ap is a plus n minus 1 into d substituting the respective values a is 6 n minus 1 is 14 d is 4 6 plus 14 into 4 that is 56 6 plus 56 that is 62 so 15th term of the ap is 62 the 19th question is find the sum of first 15 terms of 3 plus 6 plus 9 dash dash using the formula here the first term is 3 so a is equal to 3 d is equal to 6 minus 3 that is equal to 9 minus 6 that is 3 n is equal to 15 because we have to find the sum of first 15 terms sum of n terms of the ap is equal to sn that is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d so s15 is equal to 15 by 2 into 2 into 3 plus 15 minus 1 into 3. S15 is equal to 15 by 2, 2 into 3, 6 plus 15 minus 1, 14, 14 into 3. So S15 is equal to 15 by 2 
into 6 plus 14 3 is 42. That is equal to 15 by 2 into 48. 6 plus 42 is 48. 2 ones are 2, 24 is 48. So, yes, 15 is equal to 15 into 24. That is equal to 15 4 is 60. 15 2 is 30 plus 6, 36, 360. There is an internal choice question for this question. Verify whether 130 is a term of the arithmetic progression 3, 7, 11. Here the first term is 3, common difference is 4. We have, let 130 be a term, say nth term of the AP. So nth term of the AP is A plus N minus 1 into D. Substituting the respective values, 130 is equal to 3 plus n minus 1 into 4. We don't know n here. So that implies that n minus 1 into 4 is equal to 130 minus 3. That is 127. n minus 1 is equal to 127 upon 4. Transpose 4 to RHS. It is a fraction. Uh, it is not a positive integer. So we cannot, uh, we can say that n is not a number here. So, n should be a positive integer. So, 130 is not a term of the given a list of numbers. The 20th question is, solve 3x square minus 2x minus 3 is equal to 0 by using quadratic formula. The given equation is 3x square minus 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. The quadratic formula is x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac upon 2a. Here, a is equal to 3, b is equal to minus 2 and c is equal to minus 3. On substituting the values, x is equal to minus minus 2 plus or minus square root of minus 2 square minus 4 into 3 into minus 3 upon 2 into 3. On simplification, we get x is equal to 2 plus or minus square root of 4 plus 36 upon 2 into 3 that is 6. So, x is equal to 2 plus or minus root 40, 4 plus 36 that is root 40 upon 6. Root 40 can be rewritten as observe 4 into 10 upon 6 other things remain same root 4 can be removed outside so x is equal to plus 2 plus or minus 2 root 10 upon 6 2 can be bring outside the bracket 2 into 1 plus or minus root 10 by 6 2 ones are 2 3s are 6 so x is equal to 1 plus root 10 upon 3 and 1 minus root 10 upon 3. These are the roots of the equation. 21st question is, find the value of the discriminant and hence write the nature of the roots of the equation x square plus 3x plus 2 is equal to 0. Here the given equation is x square plus 3x plus 2 is equal to 0 and it is in the standard form ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Here, a is equal to 1, b is equal to 3, c is equal to 2. The discriminant d is equal to b square minus 4ac. On substituting the values, we get b square means 3 square minus 4 into a is 1, c is 2. 3 square is 9 minus 4 into 2, 8. 9 minus 8 that is equal to 1. We get uh, three conditions if uh, uh, b square minus 4ac is uh, greater than 0 the roots are real and distinct. If it is equal to 0 then the roots are uh, equal. If it is lesser than 0 it has no real roots. Here the condition is greater than 0 so the equation has two real distinct roots. The 22nd question is 
find the distance between the points 3 comma 1 and 6 comma 2 using the distance formula here given points are a 3 comma 1 and uh, let this be a x1 y1 and uh, b 6 comma 2 let this be b x2 y2 let us visualize the problem no need to draw the diagram and all we have to find the distance between a b we know the distance formula square root of x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square on substituting the values we get square root of 6 minus 3 the whole square plus 2 minus 1 the whole square square root of 6 minus 3 is 3 square 2 minus 1 is 1 square that is equal to square root of 3 square is 9 1 square is 1 square root of 9 plus 1 that is equal to square root of 10 units so the distance between the points 3 comma 1 and 6 comma 2 is square root of 10 units the 23rd question is Divide the line segment AB 10 cm in the ratio 2 is to 3 geometrically. Step 1. Draw a line segment AB of length 10 cm. Step 2. Draw a ray AX which makes an acute angle with AB. In the step 3, you have to mark 5 equal line segments. Why 5? We have to divide the line segment in the ratio 2 is to 3. So 2 plus 3, 5. A1, A2, A3, A4, A5 on the ray AX using compass like this. A2, A3, A4, A4, A5. 5 equal line segments. Be careful. In the next step, join B A 5 like this. In the next step, since we want the ratio 2 is to 3, through A 2, draw a line segment parallel to B A 5 to intersect A B at C. Now, we have A C is to C B is equal to 2 is to 3. From the given figure, find the value of A sin theta, B tan alpha. A sin theta. Sin theta is equal to opposite by hypotenuse. Here, this is angle theta. So, AB is opposite side. AC is hypotenuse. Here, AB is 1. Uh, sin theta is equal to AB by AC. AB is 1. AC is root 5. So, sin theta is equal to 1 by root 5. B, tan alpha. Tan ratio is equal to opposite by adjacent side. So, this is angle alpha. BC is opposite side. And AB is adjacent. So, tan alpha is equal to BC by AB. Here, BC is 2. AB is 1. So, tan alpha is equal to 2 by 1 that is equal to 2. So, for the next questions, see you in the next video.